Okay, so we're looking at a full system replacement. Uh, we're on a um, house that's on a slab. We have all the equipment that's located um, in, a, in a closet, utility closet in a hallway. You can see we've got the louver doors, uh, letting that um, ventilation and to feed the water heater in the uh, furnace. There's a, a six inch, yeah, six inch flue coming down. So we need a swivel tee, um, three for the water heater, four for the furnace. We've got to shut off for the gas. Right now it's a 14 inch wide furnace. Uh, we've got about 10 inches to play with um, to give some clearance um, with the water heater. You can see the drain close by. And then for the uh, return, it's cut into the wall. And you can see there's a uh, return uh, custom duct on the side. And then there's a 16 by 25. Inch filter. So we've got the opportunity, um, we can move the furnace along on a step back. Our furnace will be a smidge and wider, um, but we should be able to fit uh, the media filter um, with that transition uh, from the return on the side, be able to line it up so it fits inside that, um, it's inside the door. Got room for a base. And then we've got good height in here. Um, so the line set is running up. All the ductwork's running through the um, attic space. I'm going to double check the size on that refrigerant line, but we should be able to reuse that flush it, pressure test that recharge it. Um, and then access, um, uh, we'll need some floor coverings down on the ceramic tile. We can either come in through the front door or uh, through the garage, just depending on what's um, convenient. That's it. Thermostats um, just on the wall. Um, in the hallway and then the electric panel is that in the garage yeah in the garage if you need to shut off any breakers I'll have a quick peek at that that's it